Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint. And I have a very, very special guest. This is... Anne. Anne. And how old are you? Six. Nice. And what's your favorite color? Green. Ooh. Ooh and we're painting color. a tree. I did not know that. I love that so much. So we also wanted to introduce, we have a lot more friends here today. So let's introduce you to her Anne's family. Come, come closer. There you go. <laughs> all the way in. All the way in. There you go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then we have Keenan in the back who is painting with us. Hello. So today we are doing. Oh, I didn't even show the project. Let me show them what we're doing. Uh, we're doing a fun oh, Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Oh yeah, you can do some. Singing. Oh Christmas tree. <laughs> So we are going to do a top cam so you can see the supplies. You'll see that Ann and I taped our paper already so it doesn't move around. We have two different paint brushes. We're going to have a big one to do the big spaces and a small one to do the small spaces. And then we have a few different colors. So you get to mix whatever colors you like, but we have red, lemon yellow for the star. We have pine green and we're going to show you how to make a few different greens. We have space blue and sepia, which I just learned is called sepia. Which we don't know if that's true. <laughs> it might be, but we're just gonna, we're gonna keep, we're gonna call it sepia. <laughs> and then make sure you have your water close to you. Let me bring that closer to you. And then a pencil. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna say our motto. So if you can raise your right hand, other hand, you got it. Yeah. And then repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I'm brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I'm, and I'm creative. creative. And let's do this. Oh, you knew it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, so grab your pencil, like I said. The first step is we're gonna draw a triangle. So draw a triangle anywhere on your paper. Now, if you want a small tree, you'll draw a small one. If you want a big tree, you'll draw, draw a big tree. A triangle is the strongest shape. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, fun really? fact, yeah. Nice. We're going to draw a triangle, which is three sides, and leave a little bit room at the bottom nice for your trunk, which is a rectangle. So you can draw a skinny rectangle if you want a small trunk, or you can do a wide one. Fun fact about rectangles? Yeah. Same shape as a Hershey's bar. <laughs> and so it's brown. You tell me which shape's better, triangle <laughs> or a rectangle. We drew <laughs> nice. And then, do you want to do a star on top? You get to choose, yeah? Okay, have you ever drawn a star before? I'm gonna show you a trick. Ooh. Let's see. We're gonna do a dot up at the top, and then do a dot over here, and then a dot on the here. Yeah, on the right side, and then kind of in between, so here, and about there. So we're drawing our five points. Yep, and the other side. Nice. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is draw a little bit light because we're gonna erase, but I want you to draw, kind of start like you're drawing a triangle. So go from the top, yep, to the bottom right. Nice, okay, so yeah, come like that. And then you're gonna go across all the way to the right. So on the other side, you go across. Yes, and then we're gonna go down diagonal to the bottom left. Yeah, and then go up, so complete it. You just made a star! Nice star! <laughs> That's awesome, so you can either erase the inside or you can leave it. I kind of like it like that. But if you want, you can erase the inside. Do you want to do that? Do you, is your eraser, oh, your eraser got a little eaten. <laughs> so erase inside, nice. So now I want to show you, you are creative, so you get to decide. Do you want to add some presents under your tree? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, mm -hmm. so anywhere around here, you're going to draw squares or rectangles. So you can draw that. I'll do that with you. So you can add some presents to your tree. Oh, do you want to switch? <laughs> so draw some squares under your tree. They can be any size. I guess presents aren't always square. Sometimes they're circular. That's true, like a Frisbee. Or round. Yeah, One time I had a, a Frisbee from Santa in my stocking. Oh, that's a good present. It's a huge stocking. In your stocking? Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> and then if your present is wrapped, maybe you draw some 
ribbon on it. You can do a bow if you want to have your present with a bow. So you get to be creative and make this painting your own. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is going to be a super fun project. Ooh, if you don't have this out already, go and grab it. Grab some sort of tape. So we have a few different kinds that came in our box. So do you want to do tape this one? Do you see how this has some ridges like that? Some squiggly lines, do you want that one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what I want you to do is take your tape. So grab tape. Now, if you don't have this exact tape, that's okay. Maybe you see if you have, maybe you have this tape that we like to use. It'll be the same thing. But what we're gonna do is you're gonna take this and anywhere I want you to place on the left side or one side, yeah, on the right side, that works. All the way to the edge, nice, yeah. Oops, sorry. So tape it down, yes, and then push it. And then when you get to the other side, you're gonna rip. And tell me if you need help. Nice, yeah. Just gonna rip that. Gotcha. Here, I'll start it a little bit. There you go, start that and then rip that. Yeah. And I want you to press really hard. It's gonna press it all the way down with your finger. Yeah. And that's okay if you get some bubbles. Now let's repeat that but maybe go the opposite direction. Mm. So you're gonna push, go all the way across. So what we are doing is we are making some lines. Do you see how on this painting, how we have all these different lines? Nice, good job. So this is going to make a cool pattern. Yes, you got it. Okay, let's do a few more. So do another one anywhere you want. So you're gonna do another one. So at the very last step, we're gonna remove it. So this is what we're gonna paint around. You're good at this. Ooh, I like how you went through the middle. Me too. I love that actually. Yeah. Nice, let's do one more. So I'm gonna do the same thing as you, Anne, and I'm gonna go through my middle. Nice. Give it a little, I want a little bit of my tree. So what we're doing is we are making also, you'll see, is we're making a lot of different shapes. If you look at the shapes inside of what your tape is painting, and those are gonna be our painting spots. Nice. Ooh, I like that green, yeah! Good job, okay. Do you wanna do any more or are you good? You can do more. You're good? Okay, so let's set that aside. Now, we are going to start painting. So, let's get out our colors. So we're gonna have, we have our star, which is yellow. And then what I wanna show you is we're gonna make, do you see on here how there's different green colors? Yeah. So we have your favorite color, green. But what we're gonna do is I wanna show you how to make two different colors of green. So we're gonna have our regular green, and I'm gonna do one drop of green here and one drop of green here. And we're gonna make a medium color green and then a really light color green. So this one, I'm just gonna do three drops. But on this one, I'm gonna do 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one, what do you think? So do you think this one's gonna be lighter or this one? That. Yeah, I think you're right. So yeah. So we'll see. So we just made three different greens. So we got our regular green. This is our medium green, like Ann said. And then we got our light green because it has more yellow. Ooh, fun. Nice. So the trick is every time you change color, did you see how I went and cleaned my paintbrush? Yeah. Cool. So what we're gonna do is, do you see how you have different parts? So you have a little part right yeah. there. You have this and this. What if you paint each of them a different green? Mm. So dip your brush in water and then pick one of the greens, whichever one you want. And you're gonna paint one of the sections. And I actually want you to paint over the tape. So that way, when we take it off, it'll be a clean line. Now, if it bleeds, that's okay, but we're just gonna paint over that section. Nice. And then when you are ready to do the next one, clean your brush, like I said, and then pick a different color. And you're gonna paint that section. Nice. 
Okay, so this, this reminds me, I don't know if any of you have seen um, stained glass windows mm. where they are different colors. That's what this project reminded me of. And I, I was agree. thinking of, I think they're so pretty. It also makes me think of Christmas trees. <laughs> Why? I don't, it just comes to me that way. <laughs> Good job, Anne. And keep going. I love that your favorite color is green. Which one, Anne, do you like dark green or light green? Light green the most. Light green, ooh, I'm glad we did some light green then. Is it like lime green or light green? Just like this green. That green, yeah. Oh, the same one we both picked. Yeah, when I was young, actually, lime green was my favorite color and I painted my whole room lime green. Your whole room? <laughs> it was intense. That was very vibrant. <laughs> yeah. It had to be the happiest room in the land. <laughs> Good job. Did you also like limes? I don't think so. You just liked lime green. Yeah. That was my color, apparently. It's very happy. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Keep going, yeah. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, nice. Good eye. <laughs> okay, so the next color that we have. Oh, we gotta do our star. Forgot about that. So, you're, do you want to do your star yellow, or do you want to do it green, or a different color? Purple. Purple. Okay, let's do it. Ooh. I love that. Dark purple. Dark purple. Okay, so we can make purple. You might have purple at home, but we can make purple because we have blue. And we have red, so mix that together. See what we get. Yeah, look at that. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sweet. I love that you wanted to make a purple star. So you're gonna paint the star at the very top. Now, when you are done, here's the thing. We're gonna mix a few different colors. Make just mix one. And do what? And we just mixed one. Yeah, we did just mix one. So let's mix more. I like mixing colors. So actually purple was one of the colors that we needed to mix anyway. So that was perfect. Oh, good guess. So we're gonna mix, let's mix a darker blue. So we got blue right here. Let's see what happens if we do more blue than more red. We'll do two different ones. And then if we do more red, then more blue. We're just gonna experiment and see what happens. This is the fun thing about mixing colors, so you don't really know what you're gonna get. Whoa, that's like a deep navy. That's pretty, that reminds of the night sky. And then we got, ooh. It's like a magenta burgundy or maroon. And then we got the same purple that you mixed. Sweet, so now we got a couple different colors. And then I wanna show you, if you ever wanna make a really light color, do you know how to do that? Add more water. Yeah! Boom! You, you knew it. So maybe I'll make us some over here. Yeah, so now we got five colors to paint with. So you're gonna do the same thing where in each of these different sections you can paint a different one. Here's the thing that I want you to remember is that the edges are a little bit wet. So I think we're either going, do you wanna use a paper towel to wipe to dry it? Or do you want to use the heat it craft tool? Do you know what that is? Uh, no. <laughs> I'll show you. It's a fun tool that basically looks like a hair dryer. And we're gonna dry it. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Boom, so we're gonna dry your painting. I want you to dry your painting and then we'll meet you back.
Okay, so we let our painting fully dry and use the cool heat it craft tool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use all the different blues that we mixed and we're gonna paint different areas. So you're gonna do the same thing and then paint all the different areas, different colors. So I think I'm gonna use my big brush because we're painting a really big area. So dip it in water and pick a color and have fun. And when you get to something like your star, it's okay if it touches it. Because here's the thing, colors are really pretty and they may blend and that's okay. We like colors here. So you're gonna do all the different colors that you have in the different sections. Oh, that color's so pretty. Mm. So when you are done, Anne's gonna keep painting hers and then we're gonna take another snack break and we're gonna let it fully dry because our final step is gonna be removing the tape. So I'm gonna use my tool to let it dry and then we'll meet you back. Okay, so now we're ready for the fun reveal. Are you ready? Okay, so let's see, which one did you do last? So this one, I think. So find the one that you did last and you're gonna kind of pick it up and then you're gonna slowly remove it. Whoa! Look at that, I love the lines. Yeah! So I didn't realize that tape was scalloped. Yeah, isn't that fun? Yeah, and delicious. <laughs> yeah, so Anne had a little bit of different tape but we're taking it all off. So this is creating that cool abstract mosaic type of look. Whoa. Oh yeah, I love the scalps, yes! So we got that one and then we gotta remove the big one. So yeah. Anna and I were saying how she's painted, her and her family have painted other projects with us and it's so fun to have Anne on with me today. So I'm glad you painted with me. Sweet. Now, what I want everyone to do when they're done, I would love, we would love to see what you make. So when you're done, nice. We want you to hold it up and show us and then smile and take a picture. Yeah, because we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects, and then we have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. So we want to see what you make. Ann and I would love to see. And I love that. Do you like the scallops? That's so fun. Good job. So thank you for painting with me and joining us. This was so much fun. We have lots of other holiday projects if you want to join and paint those. And always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative. And we'll see. Bye everyone. Okay, one thing I forgot to say, there are so many other ideas I wanted to show you. So if you liked this technique of using the washi tape, you can do a Christmas present, you can do ornaments. I wanted to show you that there's so many fun things that you learned and then you can have so much fun and make it your own for different things. Okay, happy holidays, bye.